Whoa, this monster burrito isn't just massive, it's delicious. Hi, I'm Dave, and you are watching Mad Food 850. Thanks for joining us today. If you haven't liked and subscribed, think about doing so down below. We need your support. We're only at 25 subscribers. We need more. And if you're watching this video, we appreciate it. Today we're doing breakfast burritos for lunch. Oh, I love me some eggs at lunchtime. Uh, wife, not so much, but I can do eggs and bacon any time of the day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Today we're gonna do a breakfast burrito and I've got some huge tortillas to fill. And I can't wait. So let's get started. So I start off today by dicing one large DC de jalapeno. This helps to give off a nice jalapeno flavor without too much heat. Of course, you can't have a burrito without some onion. I use a total of about one slice of onion. It's about a quarter inch thick and I dice it up really well. Last, I throw in some diced mushrooms to add some nice umami flavor. Up next is one of my favorite sides, guacamole. I start with one fresh Roma tomato and I dice it into nice chunks. I don't want them to be too small because I want them to have some bite left in them. Next is God's fruit. That's right, one ripe avocado. I was lucky finding nice avocados this time of year in our, in our supermarket, but I got lucky and this one is really nice. I dice it into chunks and I toss them into a bowl and they are ready to be squished. I add some accent. This helps uh, enhance the flavor much like salt, but it does it without adding any sodium. Of course, I toss in some garlic and some onion powder. Try not to add too much because I can always go back later and add more if, if it needs it. Here, I add just a dash of woo sauce and then I toss in the tomatoes. Here, I give it a quick mishy mash and I try not to pulverize all of the avocado chunks because I want them to add just a bit of texture to the guacamole. Finally, I take some saran wrap and I push it down into the bowl, covering the guacamole and, and removing as much of the air as possible. This helps keep the avocados from turning brown. Alrighty then, time to break some eggs. I toss three into a medium sized bowl and I season with truffle salt and about a tablespoon of truffle oil, both of which were given to me by my wonderful wife for Christmas. And for some extra flavor, I do add some onion and garlic powder. This really helps to bring them eggs to life. And of course, I do add a bit of accent to help keep the sodium down. And then I whip the piss out of them. I love me some mayonnaise on my BLTs. And since this burrito is not far removed from that, I'm just whipping up a simple sriracha mayo to add an extra layer of flavor. It's quick and easy as you can see, so why not? I start with about a tablespoon and a half of coarse Duke's mayonnaise and a half tablespoon of sriracha and that's it. I give it a quick mixy mix and that's all there is to it. All right, so now I got all the prep work done and it's time to cook. I start by firing up my little butane stove and getting out a non-stick skillet, so-called. As you can see, I add truffle oil to the skillet and it is so fragrant and it gives the veggies just this unbelievable flavor. This stuff is absolute magic. I didn't show it, but I did add a pinch of salt while I was cooking the veggies. And of course, how could anything be breakfasty without some bacon? So here I stretch out bacon on a cooling rack and I place the rack inside of a cookie sheet. This cooks the bacon and keeps it from shriveling up. It works great for sandwiches too. I put the oven on 350 and I cook it for about 30 minutes. I like my bacon really crispy, so your time may vary. For the eggs, I add just a bit more oil to the skillet. This was uh, to add flavor and help prevent the eggs from sticking, which it didn't. It was a pain in the butt cleaning. I started off with the temp just as low as I could get it and then I babysit the eggs and I made sure to scrape them every, every now and then. I like to pull my eggs when they are still just a little wet as they will continue to cook after they're removed from the heat. I absolutely hate dry eggs. I did add a few pinches of pepper but I didn't add any salt because they'd already been salted. Oh, and here comes the bacon. Look at that. It's flat, no crinkles and it's ready for my belly. The last thing that needs some love is that giant tortilla. 
So I butter the heck out of it and I put it on a pizza stone. I primarily use the pizza stone because it was the only device that we own that would hold the entire thing. It's a massive tortilla. I put the oven on 200 and I watched it until the butter was completely melted before taking it out. Now comes the fun part. For a good base, I start laying down this massive slather of sriracha mayo. I put it on thick and I don't skimp. Next, of course, was the guacamole and I used every last bit of it. Next comes the veggies and then I top it with the bacon. This thing is going to be a monster. Last are the eggs and I used all of them as well. So in total, not counting the sauteed veggies, there's one avocado, one tomato, three eggs, and three pieces of bacon on this wonderful lunch. And of course, rolling this giant wasn't an easy task. I had to make sure to keep all those goodies inside and get those ends tucked in just right. And here it is in all of its glory. Just look at that beast. Oh, the humanity. Welcome back. We're all done. We're done cooking. We got it all wrapped up. We're ready for the taste test. And it is good. I guess you saw I got to use some of my Christmas presents, which was truffle oil and some truffle salt. And those eggs turned out awesome. I'm telling you what, they are spectacular with that uh, truffle oil. Mm, they're good. All right, it is time to dig in. So let's taste. Mm. Put a little goat cheese on top. Mm. Wow. The guacamole is spectacular. It is awesome in there. You can taste the you can taste the truffle because there's so much truffle in there. Oh, that is awesome. The mushrooms, the jalapenos, and the onions sauteed perfectly. Not too soft, not too crisp. Mmm. Mmm. The goat cheese just melted on top is tremendous. You got to try this recipe. It's on our website. You can find that down in the description. All right, that'll do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you haven't liked and subscribed, think about doing so. It's downstairs in the description. Uh, we're trying to get to 100 subs by July. We've been stuck on 25 for just a little while. Your help would be much appreciated. The recipes are on our website. You can find that in the description. Oh, and don't forget we're on the Twitters and we're on the Instagrams. And we're on that other one. What's that other one? I don't know. They're all down in the description. You can find them down there. All right, until next time, keep on cooking.